Um, yeah, there used to be white foam, like chemical foam, uh, on the shore at the very top of uh, the S Street in front of my house in Seabury, which is the first estate when you're coming from Swords into Malahide. It's the very first estate in Malahide. It was only built in like around 90, just about coming up to 1990. Shay, my old friend that passed away, yeah, his parents owned the land originally. They owned the handy shop in Seabury. Um, yeah, um, uh, yeah, there was white froth uh, like up there on all every day, like uh, yeah, at the very top, not a down where uh, I was, like the very other end, like. But it's only like in d industrial estates, uh, and there was chemical runoff going into the estuary. Even though wildlife is, there's loads of plenty of wildlife there. The swans, specifically known for swans, there's loads of different types of ducks. I saw an otter there uh, a couple of years ago. For the first time ever, like at the back, on the other side, the complete, you know, go the whole way around on the other side. Like, um, I saw an otter. I was walking by. I saw. I actually saw an otter in the river. I fucking couldn't believe my eyes. I didn't know that they even like were around here. Uh, I also saw a dead hedgehog in Seabury, like fucking after that, uh, on the road, and I didn't know there was hedgehogs around like say either. Like, I thought I had no idea there was. But I saw an otter there. I saw an otter in the estuary like a few years ago. Um. The swans never like uh, even though they built the motorway pass up to Belfast, like. But that was like I I, I you know over the estuary and there was big uh, fucking blue blue about it like uh, about like disturbing swans like the save our swans thing that was going on for a while when they were building that pipe that bypass motorway bypass over the estuary from Dublin to Belfast. But in terms of like uh, I. It didn't actually, like, in the long run, it didn't actually uh, interfere with the swans uh, in my uh, uh, in my perspective. Like, they didn't uh, take up and leave or anything by any means. Um, <coughs> yeah, just the construction might have been, like, you know. But uh, it's already, it's finished, and I, and I think it was actually, like, one of those things that was actually the transport route. Like, a direct uh, motorway from uh, Dublin to Belfast was, like, absolutely, like, a good idea, like, um uh the swans are fine um yeah it's just overhead now like it's, it's their years established like their years like finished like use in use um but there was a massive campaign going on saber swans but anyway what the hell was i talking about uh yeah uh yeah the estuary so yeah anyway so in 1990 uh Pauline and Des had, uh, had a domestic, uh, first time I ever saw domestic violence. Um, Pauline was gone the next day, and then a while later, a few days later, whatever, a couple of social workers arrived. They never ever encountered social workers or anything like that before. A few days later, a few social work, a couple of social workers, two women, uh, came, arrived and um, uh, talked to me and her separately. And, they asked me if I uh, like the only uh, part of the conversation, which is the very end of it, that I remember it was, they asked me, did I want to stay with Pauline? Did I want to stay in Des's, in Seabury, where we just moved, I just changed schools, I just uh, made a break of new friends, like, and I didn't have any of my old contacts prior, like, and I just made new friends, and I just made, uh, just changed school, and we just moved house miles and miles and miles away like no way i could get there without getting the bus like um from where we were before and like, yeah anyway so like i was only like seven so um anyway the two social workers they asked me if i wanted to stay here if i want to stay with des if i wanted to go to stay with des or if i wanted to go off with Polly. and i literally thought that this is what the entire misunderstanding is over. I literally thought that I was going to see Pauline in the next three days. Approximately. When I was asked that question. Whether I wanted to go with Pauline or whether I wanted to stay with Des. I literally thought I was going to see Pauline in approximately the next three days. When I was asked that question, but I didn't say that because I just assumed it. And um, and I was seven years old. This was 1990, uh, and I literally thought I was going to see her in the next three days, and I didn't tell them because I just assumed it. And so I said, because I just moved schools, I just moved house, 
and I just made new friends and all. And I didn't know anybody. So I, I, I said that I wanted to stay here, just based on that, on that assumption that I thought I was going to see my mother in the next three days. I didn't end up seeing her for an entire, like, full year afterwards. A full year, like, at seven years old to eight, like, I didn't see my ma for a whole year when I thought, when I answered that question, that I was going to see her in, like, three days from now. That's why there's, like, fika fucking, like, there's a entire misconception, like, about the reality of circumstances. This is something that I have thought about and fucking never ending and I have never spoken to anyone about ever before now. And anyway, so my opinion is on the subject is my brother was four years older than me. My brother was 11. My brother knew about subjects like rape, alcoholism, domestic violence, fucking jealousy and uh, you know um, uh, dysfunctional uh, marriages that I was not I didn't have a clue about and so in my opinion that the social workers be being age seven and him being age 11 and me being entirely innocent and him being kind of semi clued in in the reality of the great the reality of people and uh, what your parents in the world that he should have his decision should have been they whatever he does he asked he, he said when they asked him should have been what they decided to do because I didn't have a clue about any of those subject matters at that age I have been basically shielded from most of that kind of shit like at the at the you know appropriate age like that I was still being shielded like by my mother from those kind of subject matters like because I was too young to like know about them if I didn't need to like or didn't experience them firsthand I didn't need to know about them at that age they were still too young to be fucking comprehensible to me at that age. But my brother was four years old and my brother's 11 years old. My brother was born in 1979. And he should, and so he had a fucking insight into that type, a type of stuff. And he, whatever he said to them, because I wasn't in the same room when they asked him the question, and he wasn't in the same room when they asked me the question. Whatever he sh said should have been the decision that they went with. Because I didn't have a clue about rape, alcoholism, Domestic uh, abuse, fucking, uh, fucking uh, dysfunctional mar marriages. I didn't know about anything like this whatsoever. You know, I was entirely innocent. I'd only see, just witness my first fucking domestic uh, assault ever, just like a, a week earlier or whatever. And, and in my opinion, like they, they were absolutely like completely like retarded to like uh, base like anything on my decision when I didn't have a clue, and I had assumed. That I was going to see my man three days, and then I didn't see her for a full fucking year afterwards, without knowing anything the entire time. And she was only like half an hour away up the road, is the fucking kicker. And I knew that. It was like, it became to the point when it was like she was dead, except that she wasn't dead. She was half an hour up the road. I made my holy communion, communion without her. And on Christmas Day, she came to the house uh, in the morning before we were awake. And she left a back, back, black uh, bin bag, bin liner, full of fucking Christmas presents for us. And when I woke up on Christmas Day, and I went downstairs, and we found this black bin, 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 this bag uh, with a uh, fucking um, Chris, full of Christmas presents from Pauline on Christmas Day in 1990. Um, what killed me was the fact that I knew that she had come to the actual front door of the house on Christmas Day, and I didn't get to see her 